Welcome to the MLB Home Run Betting Challenge, or as I like to call it, the Dong Report, where I bet $1 on my favorite MLB home run picks for the day. And guys, I gotta say, I've been on fire recently. In the last three days alone, we are up over 11 units. Now, I'm including yesterday where I did not post a video, but I did post it on Twitter. I posted five plays, one of those hit. So yesterday alone, I was up $2. That brings our total profit from 16 days of doing this to over 22 units, exactly $22.75. So for those of you betters that have a million dollar unit size, guess what? You're up over $22 million, which is just crazy. For today, I absolutely loved what I saw on the EV page. I have 10 Count that 10 MLB home run picks for you guys today. If all 10 hit, which if we're being honest, probably will, we will profit $46.05. Now, if you put all 10 of those into a parlay, you will have enough money to buy a small island. Couple housekeeping items before we get into it. Number one, the most important thing when you're sports betting is to get the best odds. Easiest way to do that is to sign up for every sports book available to you. So if there are certain sports books that you are not signed up with, check out the links in the description of the video. Sign up for the sports books using those links. Announcement number two. As of a couple days ago, I recently launched a membership plan for my YouTube channel. I only have two membership plans. I have a $1 one or a $5 one. So if you want to become a Jedi in training, help me out a little bit. Check out those membership plans and let me know if you have any questions. But we can get into it. As I mentioned, I have 10 picks for today, 10 picks, which is just crazy. So I don't wanna dilly dally, let's get started. Play number one, and this is in the Phillies versus Braves game. We are locking in Eddie Rosario to hit a home run plus 600 odds at FanDuel. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't understand why the EV page loves this game so much, this series so much, I should say. Um, I've been doing this. So this is the fourth game of this series between the Phillies and the Braves. We've had at least one player and more often than not, multiple players in this series so far. And I'm pulling these plays from the uh, positive EV page. So I'm not just going off of my own feelings. So it's worked well for us, right? We've gotten a bunch of players to cash. We had Alec Bohm, we had Marcel Azuna. So it's been profitable. I'm just giving you a warning. There's going to be a couple different players in this series. Now on the Braves side of the mound, Spencer Strider is pitching, which is scary, but we'll get into that a little bit later as we are going with Eddie Rosario, who is a Braves hitter. So on the mound for the Phillies is just a bullpen arm, Dylan Covey. He's had fine success so far this year, but it's going to be a bullpen game for the Phillies. And that's always scary as the Phillies don't have that great of a bullpen. So ample opportunity for Braves hitters tonight in this game. It's also the ESPN game. So if you want to watch it, root for players to hit some dongs, it could be pretty fun. Now Rosario specifically outfielder for the Braves. He's got two home runs in his last 10 games. He doesn't have any in this series yet which we think changes tonight as I love his chances. So Eddie Rosario to hit home run, play number one. Play number two, this is in the Astros versus Athletics game. We're taking Brent Rooker to hit a home run plus 600 odds at FanDuel. Now, I wouldn't blame you if you do not know who this player is. He's a uh, outfielder for the Athletics. He's a good player though. He's like one of the only actually good players on the A's. Now, the scary thing is, of course, Christian Javier is on the mound for the Astros, who is an absolute stud, but Rooker's got a chance here. He really does. And the thing is, he had actually been on fire, but recently, in the past 10 games, he's been on somewhat of a cold streak. Like prior to this 10-game cold streak, his batting average was 295. Now it's down to 267. He also hasn't hit a home run in that 10-game stretch as well. But that's baseball for you. Best players in the MLB will have 10-game stretches where they don't perform well. Now, I'm not saying Brent Rooker is. I'm just saying I'm not going to be totally scared off of it. The reason why, overall, he's got 11 home runs on the year. And I mentioned he hasn't hit one in the last 10 games. So after tonight, he'll probably get us 12. He'll probably start another hot streak. Probably, unfortunately, where nobody knows because he's playing for the Athletics. But play number two, Brent Rooker to hit a home run. Play number three, and this is where we get to the scary part. Kyle Schwarber to hit a home run, plus 426 odds at FanDuel. Now, as I mentioned, Spencer Strider is on the mound for the Braves. He's a stud. Not a lot of Phillies have had success against Strider, but Schwarber has had a little bit of success. He's gone against him eight times, has eight at-bats. He's hit one dong in those eight at-bats. Now, the thing with Schwarber, 
No, no mistake about it. He has been struggling so far this year. We all know Schwarber doesn't really get going until about June. I'm hoping it's close enough to June, recording this obviously May 28th, where Schwarber can get on the hot streak starting today. He does have 12 home runs on the year, which that part's not bad, but he's hitting 166. Now, a couple games ago, he hit two in three games. That was about a week ago. We thought he was in the midst of a hot streak. That really didn't come to fruition. Maybe that's starting tonight. As Kyle Schwarber, we love him to hit a home run as play number three. Next up, sticking in the same game, Phillies Braves, Bryce Harper to hit a home run, plus 440 odds at FanDuel. Now, this is the last player we have specifically on the Phillies, so you don't need to worry about that anymore. Now, I mentioned not a lot of Phillies have had success against Strider. Harper is one of those players that has not had a lot of success. Granted, he's only gone against him four times, doesn't have a home run in that four game stretch. He's 0 of 4. But the thing with Bryce, since he came back from injury, dude's been on fire. He's batting over 300, like 323. And that's including going 0-6 in the past two games. He hasn't had a hit yet. Prior to that, he had had a hit in like 8 of 10 games, something like that. Uh, Bryce did just hit a home run on May 25th. My birthday, no big deal. Hasn't had one since. We'd like for him to turn that around tonight. ESPN game, the bright lights are going to be on. We all know Bryce loves the bright lights. Let's see if he can get one tonight. Between him and Schwarber, they're both going to get dongs. And that's it for the Phillies, I promise. Next up, we have a play in the Cardinals versus Guardians game, and we are taking Jose Ramirez to hit a home run, plus 600 odds at FanDuel. Now, heads up, I'm going to have a couple players in this game as well, just so you know, starting off with Jose Ramirez. From a pitching perspective, I do understand why this is a popular game. Hunter Gaddis is on the mound for the Guardians. Montgomery is on the mound for the Cardinals. Both pitchers are gettable. Now, we did just go with Ramirez last time you saw me do a dong challenge on this video. Unfortunately, he did not cash for us, but he has been playing well recently, right? He had two hits yesterday. Overall, he's had a hit in eight of his last 10 games. Also, the real reason why this is a play, exactly one week ago today, the, uh, the he had a doubleheader. The Guardians had a doubleheader. He hit a home run in both of those games. Two games in one day, hit a home run in both of them. So maybe Ramirez just owns Sundays. Luckily, today is Sunday, which means he's going to own today. He could possibly hit two. So if you want to put a little lettuce on him hitting two, I won't blame you. We just need him to hit one, which he probably will. So Jose Ramirez. For the next one, we have another player in the same exact game, Cardinals versus Guardians. We are taking Wilson Contreras to hit a home run, plus 575 odds at Bet Rivers, finally a non FanDuel one. Contreras, catcher for the Cardinals, is obviously the second player we have in this game so far. Obviously, the pitching matchup that I literally just talked about is still as juicy as it was then, so no real news to add there. As for Contreras specifically, he's got five home runs on the year, but he did just hit two in a game against the Dodgers about a little over a week ago, about 10 days ago on May 18th. So he does have some recent success that we hope he can continue tonight. Contreras to hit home run second player in the Cardinals versus Guardians game. For our next pick in the Blue Jays versus Twins game, we are taking Joey Gallo to hit a home run plus 300 odds at Fandle. Now, Gallo is an example of a player I have gone with a couple of times, have not had a lot of success yet, but I'm not going to be scared off. The pitcher he is going against is Jose Barrios pitching for the Blue Jays, who Gallo has hit a dong off of in his career. Barrios is also a former twin, so maybe the revenge factor works against him as he's a little bit too amped up and doesn't have his best stuff. Now, I have mentioned this in a video before, but Gallo is one of those batters that I love betting on, whether it's betting on the pitcher to strike him out or betting on him to hit a home run, because it's one of those batters that swings for the fences every single time. So he's either getting a ton of power and he's hitting it, if not a home run, he's hitting it far, or he strikes out. Great batter to bet on or bet against, depending on what you're looking for. As for today, we're looking for him to hit a home run. He's got 11 on the year. Let's make that 12 after tonight. Next up, we got a play in the Dodgers versus Rays game. We are taking Brandon Lowe to hit a home run, plus 430 odds at FanDuel. Now, Brandon Lowe will be going against Dodgers pitcher Gavin Stone, who's a young pitcher for the Dodgers who has not had a great start so far this year. He's pitched eight innings. He's given up nine earned runs. That's not great. Now, he has only given up one home run so far, but that obviously means that he is still gettable. He can be had. Now, Lowe has had a little bit of a rough year 
at the plate, but he's got a great opportunity to turn that around. He's got eight home runs on the year. He last hit one on May 17th, but for tonight, he's got a great opportunity to turn that around and let's see what happens. So Brandon Lowe to hit a home run. Now I got two more picks for you guys. I'm sure you're not going to be able to guess the games. The first game, the last, second to last pick we have back in the Cardinals versus Guardians, back with Paul Goldschmidt to hit a home run plus 340 odds at FanDuel. Now, Goldschmidt, I have gone for him a couple, uh, gone with him, excuse me, a couple times. I love him as a batter. Great player. Just really haven't been able to get the Knights right with Goldschmidt. We've gone with him a couple times for this betting challenge. He's yet to cash for us. And it's not as though he's having a bad year. He is having a good year. The timing just hasn't been right. And that's okay. These things happen. He's still a good batter. I'm not, he's not on my uh, completely to avoid list yet because that changes today. We will, our good luck starts today. He's got nine home runs on the year. He last hit a home run on May 23rd when he hit two in the same game. It's always been somewhat of a streaky hitter. Let's see if he can turn that around tonight, get his 10th home run, finally cash for us in this betting challenge. All right, last play for the evening in the Phillies Braves game. Obviously, last play in the Phillies Braves game as well. Matt Olson to hit a home run plus 300 odds at FanDuel. Now, the EV page has had Matt Olson as a play every single game so far this series. It's been three games. Guess how many home runs he's hit? Zero. The frustrating part about that is he was on a tear. Prior to that, he had hit a home run in three of his last seven games. He's got 14 on the year and then went three straight in a, in a series that uh, has, has had a couple home runs hit. Olsen just hasn't had any of them, which obviously means that he's due to hit one tonight. Everybody in sports betting will tell you when a player is due, that's a great betting strategy, betting on players that are due or are not due. But in all seriousness, Olsen is a good hitter. He's got a great opportunity, as I already mentioned, with the Phillies pitcher on the mound. It's going to be a bullpen game. I don't think he's going to go completely home runless in this four-game series. So he cashes one for us tonight on ESPN. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys. 10 players who are absolutely going to hit a home run. If there's a player that you like specifically, let me know if you're tailing any and all of these. Let me know if there's somebody that I missed. Also comment and let me know. Other than that, remember to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for the sports books using the links in the description of the video. Become a Jedi in training, sign up to become a member. Check that out in the link in the description as well. Other than that, I appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.